welcome, um, as we spoke a little earlier, Ryan Nagoti, uh, chief of our Dodge Ram Fiat Interior Studios. Um, so I have a, have a good group of people underneath, and as Jeff mentioned, yeah, there's a lot of young, um, young talent. It's perfect for this car, um, and you're going to see that when I get into some of the details. Four key points um, in terms of interior design that I really wanted to focus on. Hand-drawn styling. So once I open the doors, you're going to see there's a lot of attention to, to that in this car. It's the first time in a while that we've really been able to spend time. We spend three to four months in clay, which is what we usually use to sculpt the exterior the interior. Um, and you're going to see that. The, the interior surfacing that we have in the vehicle, in the Dodge Dart, is very playful, youthful, fun. Um, second point is materials. So no matter what trim level you get in the Dodge Dart, material usage is bar none the most premium for this segment. Third point, uh, color, use of color. So what we have on the stand right now is a limited, as Jeff had mentioned. It's finished in, in the inside of an all black interior. But that's not just the only way you can get the interior. As, as um, Kathy mentioned, we have 14 interior color combinations. Um, and that's really big. It's a really big point that we're trying to make with the Dodge Dart. It's really you have a unique color for, for different lifestyles all the way up through the lineup. The fourth point, and it's probably one of the biggest points, is the technology ploy. Um, so once I open the doors too as well, you're going to see, and once you eventually guys get a chance to drive the vehicles, there's huge technology features in both of our 7-inch and our 8.4-inch display. So before I get into a little bit more detail overall, um, some of the things just in general, over the last year we launched 16 new vehicles, and really that was key in terms of, in terms of that launch of those vehicles. It's about getting our fit and finish right, getting our quality up to par on all these vehicles. So that was really the, the starting point for the Dodge Dart. We developed it in about 18 months. It was a fast-paced time, so we needed to make sure we had really good groundwork um, to start with. And that allowed us to have then fun and playful surfacing, uh, you know, and, and really get into some, some of the stuff that we like to do as designers um, and really have fun with the car. So in terms of, um, in terms of overall surfacing, You'll see on the instrument panel, it's, we've sculpted it um, from some type of, uh, you know, we had, we had uh, like a canoe, like uh, that type of kayak type stuff where you have this surfacing coming up and, and it's really helping to accentuate this large bezel that we have in the center of the IP and that's called our floating island bezel. Um, a couple, couple of unique things on that, that floating island bezel actually has a light pipe tracer around it. So as Jeff mentioned on the exterior with some of that technology and some of the features that we've added, um, in more of that nighttime setting, uh, basically available on an S16 and above, you're going to have this light pipe tracer that goes around that really helps to coordinate the interior and exterior in terms of an overall appearance. So that's really our key central point. And you're going to notice that all of our Dodge product from here on out is going to have this very driver-centric type of feel to the interior. Charger started it, Dart's improving upon it, and our future product is going to have that same type of feel. And really what that's about is to bring, help bring some of the athleticism um, some of this driver-oriented dynamic feel to our interiors so that our Dodge products have very unique view in terms of overall interior design. Um, so some of the other things in terms of surfacing you'll see on the door panels. Um, we, don't use, we don't use traditional appliques. So we don't use wood appliques or film appliques. It's all about using that color that I talked about later on. So obviously this vehicle is finished in the black so you don't get a chance to see some of that. Some of the press photos that we have in the, in the documentation help to show that. Um, and eventually, once we you know, get out the whole lineup, you'll see, you'll see some of that. Um, next biggest thing, like I mentioned, is material usage. So this car is uh, fitted with leather seats. Um, you have soft door panels, soft console lid. You have a very nice, soft, stitched wrap brow. Those are not only elements found on a limited. They're found all the way down on, a, on your entry-level vehicle. The only difference is that on the entry level vehicle, maybe you wouldn't have the stitching on the, the brow, but the material is soft. It all has foam, the instrument panels, a 12 mil foam back surface. So the key is that on an entry level product, we have all of this quality craftsmanship feel and touch. So it's, it's amazing for a C7 size vehicle. We think that's one of the you know, huge selling points, including some of the other features that I mentioned as well. So that's our material usage. Um, colors, we have 14 different color options. The key with that is it really allows the customers to have a unique style for themselves uh, between, a, between someone that's, maybe this is their first car, maybe someone that's an empty nester, um, and then something more sports oriented in terms of the RT. 
Uh, well, one of our one of our best packages internally that we often we often love to keep, keep pitch up is our rally. Our rally is in the middle of the segment, um, as Jeff mentioned, has a has a sort of a similar look to our RT. What's key about that is we're going to see a lot of those vehicles out there, so we want to make sure that that vehicle had a pretty good overall look. So it has four different interior color combinations. One of them is a really cool color. It's a diesel, which is uh, a dark gray, um, and like a you know like a nice dark gray suit, you need to accent. So what we've done is we have a citrus peel accent in it, which is a, like a lime green. Um, so obviously it's not for everyone. It's used tastefully. It's in small areas. But the key is that the car can change throughout the lineup in terms of what people really want to see in the, in the vehicle. So it's someone that, like I said, is an empty nester. Maybe it's more of the earth tones to something that's maybe a little more crazy in the rally that you'll see. Um, last but not least, then technology. So I mentioned uh, there's two big technology features. Uh, one of the ones which you guys are maybe more familiar with is found in our Charger, our 300, our Journey, and that's the big 8.4 inch media center. It's called our Uconnect system. Um, and that's really what's housing all of our heating and ventilation, air conditioning type systems, uh, all the radio functionality, your navigation systems. So it's key, it's all in this one nicely grouped uh, piece. Um, it's, it's won awards in terms of our, um, our usability of the interface. So it's really easy to use, uh, very large buttons on the screen, and the 8.4 inch display is, is pretty big. So that's found in that center area um, of the instrument panel. And then last but not least is really something that we're debuting for the Dodge Dart. It's our 7 inch uh, TFT cluster, which TFT is a thin, thin film transistor, so it's another name for type of an LCD type display. And it's, it's a full color display that's found right in the middle of the cluster area. Um, it's, it's grouped on either side by two analog, more traditional gauges, but it's behind a smoke lens, so it actually gives the appearance that the whole thing is digital. Um, and what's key about that is that 7-inch display can change, just like the interior color combinations, the exterior com color combinations, in terms of what you want as a customer. That display can go from an analog, it can go to a digital. You could, you could go down to something that's going to be more simplified in terms of your readout, or you could pack it all full of information. Our turn-by-turn -turn navigation shows up in there, and it's not just a little dot pixel type uh, display, it's actually a full color display. So if you're going, say, like around a roundabout, it maybe has eight different ways to get out, it'll literally show you all the eight different ways, it shows you a nice big arrow. It's just key that we're trying to make sure that there's more connection between you know, our, our technologies and then giving the user more of that interface so it feels like they have command of the car. So I uh, eventually, when, when everyone gets a chance to drive these vehicles, you're going to find out that that's a really cool selling point and something that we're debuting in the dark and eventually you'll start to see that in some of our other product lineup. That's a segment exclusive in terms of this size car to have that big 7-inch display. So with that, um, that can, you know, concludes sort of the interior portion. Um, as Jeff mentioned, you know, we're excited about this vehicle. Uh, we have a lot of young talent, so a lot of heart and soul went into it. Um, this is really our first big push in terms of having a unified Fiat and Chrysler branded vehicle. Um, so it's, it's been fun to work on, it's been hard, but uh, we're, we're going, we're moving, and we're making strides. So thanks again for attending, um, and we have any questions.